Oh no, scratched it already. Hello, I'm Dan Jackson. Welcome to my channel, Dan's the Engineer. Today, I've been given a present. Doesn't look too, too good, does it? Let's see what's inside the box. Oh no, scratched it already. Ooh. This is the new Apollo fire detector loop tester. So what does this bit of kit do? What it does is you can put it on the loop without the loop being connected to a panel. You can carry out various tests. You can carry out integrity tests on the loop. You can carry out various resistance tests. I've been looking forward to having a play of this for quite some time because I've heard about it and I'm very pleased that Apollo have given me one of these to play with. So let's go uh, fit it to a loop and uh, see what it does. So inside the box, you've got the main unit itself. You've got the charger, uh, various adapters for different sort of countries, your leads, your crocodile leads, and you've got a strap, which I'm gonna put that on now. You've also got a mist detector here, and as for, um, you, can put, you can plug heads into it and you can set the mode, so if you wanna predetermine the mode on a CO detector or a multi-detector or something like that. Let's put the, uh, the clips on here. There we go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hang it on my panel door there like that. I'll get the crocodile clips. On the top here, we've got loop out, loop in, and ground. So we've got the plus and minus on the loop out and the screen, plus and minus on the loop in and the screen, and that's ground to, to your panel earth or anything like that. So I'm just gonna put the leads in. So this panel is working, it's up and running, it's been commissioned. I'm just showing it for the purpose of what this tester can actually do. We've got our loop in and out, so I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna um, connect them onto our loop tester. So I've connected the leads to the loop in, loop out, and the screens. Always remember ch to charge the battery. Takes a little bit of time to load up. Right, there we go. Now why would you use a tester? Now the reason why I'm quite excited about this product is because quite often we will install a whole system but there's no mains or the panel isn't ready to go in for whatever reason. So you can stick this on the loop uh, to check your circuit and check that everything's doing what it's supposed to, so it's fault free. You can check your devices, you can even sound your devices, um, check that all electronically they're working correctly before you power it up. So, uh, I mean, we do a lot of MICC installations and that's why I really want this product because we've had quite a few cables that have been gone through. Um, we've had instances where it's got damp in a certain area so we've had issues with uh, short circuits as well. So it's nice to know that before that all final commissioning day, which we all know on large projects, is a massive rush, it's massive pressure. So at least then you can do your, your first fix, your second fix, use this tester to check before you've got to come back and commission. So if we go on to loop diagnosis, it's gone through the motion there. The estimated cable run is 53.3 meters, saying the resistance here of the loop is 3.9 ohms. Um, and if you click, click the certain things here, it tells you your loop supply from direction out, and it's telling you the voltages and so forth. We can do the in as well, just to check that everything's within the parameters, how much uh, leakage is there, earth leakage, Short circuit, full protection, that's all fine. So we know our, our circuit is all okay. If we go to loop view, this is now powering up the loop. And it sort of reads through. So we've got 28 devices on this loop. It's only a small one. As you can see here, it tells you if it's an IO, a manual call point sounder, optical, um, and so forth. So if I click this sounder here, which is in this room, I believe, this is the analog value. So it's within range. That's, if it was a beacon, you can select that and it is actually going off there. See it flashing. So if we turn that off, 
this sound a sound up. So we know the sound is working. Let's turn it off. You can also do uh, a test here on the device to make sure that electronically it's doing what it's supposed to. So if we go back out here, yeah, I'm gonna set this call point off behind here. So that call point's now gone off. And as you can see, number two, is highlighted red or pink. You can barely tell, my eyes are getting old. And if we click on that, that's gonna tell our analog value. So what I'm gonna quickly do is reset that call point. So I've just reset it, and you can see that the analog value, value's gone back to 16 and uh, it's just reading, it's polling through. There you go, it's all gone back to normal now. So what's my first impression on this product? I think it's a great bit of kit. I need to go through the manual. I haven't even gone through that yet. I just wanted to stick it on, show you my first impression, just sort of get a feel for how user-friendly it is. It seemed quite straightforward there. It does some really basic stuff. But like I said, it's gonna be a really handy tool um, for any fire alarm engineers who install works where you've got to walk away from the job before you can connect up and final commission. Fire alarm engineers, are you interested in this product? Are you going to get one? I want to hear what you've got to say. Put the comments below. One great thing I've been told it can do is if you've got a short circuit, it can actually detect approximately where it is on the circuit as well, which is great. So that's a great feature. I'm going to simulate that thought at some point on a system that I know and see how accurate it is. So I'm very excited to have this product. I've been looking forward to it because I've heard about it for quite some time and I'm very thankful to Apollo to actually give it to me. I highly recommend you check it out. I'll put a link in the descriptions below. I'm a bit of a tech geek, so I love playing with products like this. If you are a manufacturer and you have a product you want me to look at and for me to trial it out, by all means get in touch you can get hold of me on linkedin on twitter or facebook or you can put comments below guys hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel i'll see you later bye